And Luana, what you got going over there? I hear some babies over on that side of the set. <laughs> we have got more babies than you can imagine. It's going to be great fun over here. We have with us Donna Boatwright and her little girl, Megan. And we also have with us Donna Poole and her little girl, Becky. And folks, I think I may suspect that Mike took today oh. off, and I think I know why. You know, we may get wiggle worms here. Girls and big girls, how about that? We want to know the ages of the girls so that we can talk about their stages. Since uh, since one is since one is a little distraught right now, Donna Poo, why don't you tell us about Becky for a second? Becky will be two in November. Okay. Two years old, coming yeah. up. Okay. She's a little big for age, but she's beginning to get into the no, no, and don't, don't. Oh, so in other words, you can already relate to yes, what she just that sounds said. very familiar. That's one. Donna Poo, uh, Donna Boatwright, tell me about Megan. Well, right now Megan's sleepy, <laughs> but she is in a stage where she wants to exert her independence. Okay, we're going to find out how in just a minute. Be right back, folks. Don't go away. We'll be back. <laughs> back with Donna Poole and her little girl Becky that I have on my lap for the moment and we have Donna Boatwright with her little girl Megan whom I would love to have on my lap also but it's not quite that big yet. <laughs> Girls, tell us just a little bit more about the stages of the babies. Now, Donna, your baby Megan is about one? Ten months old. Okay. Tell us some of the things that she's going through right Okay. Now. Megan likes to get into everything. <laughs> <laughs> and she, right now, she's at a stage where she's, it seems like she's clingy to me, but yet at other times wants to do her own. Please, Mother, I'd rather do it myself. Yes, yes, that type thing. <laughs> like playing with the microphone. Uh -huh. <laughs> she, um, we've noticed that if one of us, either her dad or I, have to leave, that if we'll take her out on the front porch and she sees us, she watches us drive away, then she's okay. Uh -huh. But if she's in the house and we just leave, it takes her a while to get used to the fact that we're gone. Just talking about it has upset yes, her. Yes, that <laughs> that's tough. Donna, Bo uh, Donna Poole, we've got two Donnas here, and that's kind of confusing today. Uh, I know that Becky is going through some interesting things because she's just discovered with these new shoes that she has holes to put the shoelaces in. Yes, she is discovering her. She's discovering everything too, but she's wanting to know what to call everything. Uh huh. Every other word is what's that? What's that? You want me to what, tell this? What is this, Becky? Huh? What are those? Huh? Tell me what those are. <laughs> this your shoes? Your shoes? Your shoes? Uh huh. Yeah. Shoelaces. She. Uh, She's uh, moving constantly and into everything, too, but she wants to know what everything is. She loves reading books. We have to sit down and read Bambi 40 times every night. Every night. Every night. 40 you times. like Bambi, Becky? You like Bambi? <laughs> so that's one thing with her. She's my aerobics plan. <laughs> sure. Living in a studio apartment with a 30-pound two-year-old is a wonderful fitness plan. Well, I can believe it. When I tried to lift her into my lap while I go, my back knew full well I was lifting 30 pounds <laughs> from the wrong angle. Well, uh, Donna, your Megan now is beginning to show some signs of dexterity herself. Yes. I can tell that. Yes. She can walk when she wants to. She takes, I think, as many as seven steps. But she really prefers to crawl. She can get there much faster and much easier. The security is in the crawling oh, and yes. not the trying to walk. Oh, fish. yes. <laughs> Are you going through any of the things uh, like oh, trying to do away with pacifiers or well, getting off bottles? Yet? We're looking toward getting off the bottle, and that's something that I'm not anxiously awaiting. <laughs> with, uh, I'm a working mother, and so I'm not really sure about how I should go about it because I don't have an awful lot of time with her at home. Yeah. Well, that uh, does present some a whole new set of problems, yes, doesn't it, for yes. you, Donna? And for the baby. Uh -huh. but she looks pretty adjusted to me. Well, you know, we hope so. <laughs> uh, Becky, I'd like to know if you went Mommy, shopping with Mommy. your daddy when daddy bought your new shoes. Did you go shopping with daddy when he bought your new shoes? Huh? Did you? Hiya. Got a, hair. Yeah. got a hair in your mouth. Well, Mama well, needs we to do something out. about that. That's beginning out. to be real articulate. <laughs> Donna, what are some of the problems that you're finding at I'm this stage and age that That's you could use some help with out of Mary Lee Halfley over there on the other side? Mm -hmm. Well, we just try to have plenty of things around to distract her with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if she's into something that she doesn't need to be into, I need to give her an alternative real quickly. And in a small apartment, 
in our limited budget, we don't have a, a, an unlimited, you know, amount of toys to say, here, try this one, <laughs> you know. Um, Sounds to me like it demands an awful lot of creativity from it does, mom and pop. It does. It requires a sense of humor, you know. Oh. I, I, that's something I, I don't know how you could do it without laughing at her. I mean, especially at mealtimes. I mean, the time that she tried to grab a handful of creamed corn, and if you've ever tried to eat creamed corn with your fingers, the look on her, and you have to laugh, you know, if you've got ravioli across the kitchen cabinet, you have to laugh at it. <laughs> you because if you be try to take it that seriously, try, then you know. you're going to have, you know, 40 major setbacks every day. You just have to laugh and clean it up and say, it's okay, it'll wash, you know. Uh, are you going through afternoon naps as well as Megan is with Becky? Yeah, well, Becky's in a daycare center in the day while I'm working, right. and so they have a routine of morning and afternoon naps, and if the kids don't go all the way to sleep, they just have a quiet time. So she's in a routine like that, and we continue that during the weekends. We have just recently gone to about an hour later on a bedtime. We had several nights that was just a major battle for about an hour or two. And then we found the next night and said, never mind, we'll wait an hour and try again. And then it was only a 30-minute battle. So we, <laughs> <laughs> so you find so we decide found what one. is the best for That's the child, right. but oh, what That's is the right. best for mom See, now she's in a big bed. And she found out real quickly she can just crawl down and come find mom and daddy. And so that was that was a challenge and still is at times trying to keep her in the big bed. Donna, is Megan, uh, I know she's probably already got a few teeth in her head, but is she still going through some of the traumas of, of uh, cutting teeth and trying to adjust to different textures of foods and that kind of thing? Oh, yeah, she has seven teeth. And I think we're cutting another one, too. <laughs> And I'm so sorry. Turn that around so those that little face can be seen. <laughs> well, uh, Becky over here thinks her little friend Megan is enjoying life. <laughs> well, girls, this has been such fun having the babies on the show and, and the big girls as well. I hope that you all can get some good, healthy advice and tips to make your life a little simpler and at least make it a little more comfortable out of Mary Lee and Kay over there. So uh, let's, let's take a look back over there and see if Mary Lee and Kay can give you any help at all after some of these problems you've been through in the last few minutes. <laughs> Kay? Oh, I don't know if I can help, but I tell you, I see what I have to look forward to really soon. <laughs>